Well, tonight we are hearing from the husband of one of the five women who escaped the Union County Jail. The sheriff's office says overcrowding and an unlocked door paved the way to the escape. These are the five women who escaped on Sunday. Two were captured almost immediately, while three others were found about half a mile away. Our Sam Luther joins us in studio tonight. And Sam, you talked to the husband of one of these women and learned more about why they made the escape. Yeah, Casey, certainly a part of it was opportunity. There was an unlocked door, so they made a run for it. But I'm told tonight it's more than that. At least one woman felt that it was worth being on the run instead of spending another day in what she describes as poor conditions. A door got left unlocked and five inmates escaped. A concerned husband offers details of why his wife, Amy Benford, escaped from the Union County Jail. Due to poor conditions of the jail. Benford's husband says she was in jail for a probation violation. The sheriff's office says the escape happened partially due to overcrowding and a door to the jail not locking. Almost every day from his Knoxville home, a husband would hear firsthand experiences of what the inside of this jail was like. I'm sleeping in the hallway, people not having mats, people not having blankets, crowd, overcrowdation, and it was rough for her. According to state data, in July, this jail was at 123% capacity. They had 94 inmates, but only 76 beds. And it's not just Union County, nine counties in our area dealing with overcrowded jails. And while Benford wishes his wife didn't try to escape, he's not blaming her for doing so. I mean, if you leave a door unlocked for me, I'm a convict myself. I'm going to escape. I mean, if I take the chance to leave, I'm, I'm going to leave, you know. It's not their fault. It's it's the jail's fault why they left. In Union County, Sam Luther, WVLT News. Those inmates are back in custody facing more charges. We've reached out to the Union County Sheriff's Office several times this week to comment on the jail conditions, but have not heard back.